Today we are going to show how to use the C1 surgical kit to place a C1 implant. Please see our C1 surgical kit explanation video for more details about the tools and the whole process. I'm going to place a 3.75 millimeter by 13 millimeter length C1 implant. First, I would want to mark the site using either our spade marking drill or regular marking drill. I'm going to use the spade marking drill. Pull that in. Just enough to mark the place on the bone. Next up is the pilot drill. As I mentioned, we're drilling to 13 millimeter depth, so I would use our 13 millimeter length drill. It has a built in stopper to prevent me from over drilling. In the interest of time, I'm going to drill rather quickly. can test my depth using the body try-in. Next up is the 3.0 millimeter diameter twist drill. Again, check the depth with the depth probe. Okay. Much like MIS's seven implants, each C1 implant comes packaged with its own single use sterile sealed final drill. This one is exactly the length I would need for this 13 millimeter implant. There's only one line on the drill, so I would bury the drill up until that line. Now it is time to place the implant. I can place the implant with either a wrench or a handpiece. I'm going to show both, starting with the handpiece. Insertion tools come in long and short variety. Here I have the long one. I have my motor on slow speed implant setting. Notice the top of the implant is coated purple, just like the delivery tool, ensuring you have the matching parts. Now that the implant is placed and reached at least 35 newton centimeter, I'm going to finish placing it with the ratchet wrench. For that I'll need the ratchet wrench adapter, so I can use the same insert tool in my MIS ratchet wrench. We can check the implant's angulation using our direction indicators. Let's snap right into the implant. Because it is a defining feature of the C1, I'm going to demonstrate its platform switching by putting on one of our abutments. Again, you see the abutment is color-coded purple at the bottom to demonstrate that it will fit only into the purple, which is standard platform, either 3.75 or 4.2 millimeter. 
The visible part of the abutment is gold colored to help make a more natural looking crown. You can see where the base of this abutment will be smaller than the diameter of the implant itself, which is platform switching. Now the tissue can grow into the space between the base of the abutment and over the implant. If the implant is placed subcrestal, there can even be bone overgrowth. Each C1 implant also comes with its own cover screw, color coded as well. So we can either place that with our hand piece or using the same adapter with the wrench. I'm going to start placing it just like this.